I am a fourth generation business owner and actually fourth generation woman in business. So I was really raised to believe that there was no ceiling, that I could do anything. I really didn't notice that I was getting into something or an industry that um, didn't have people, women or people like me. I just thought that this was what I was supposed to do. I actually took a journey where I went to Edmonton for a little while and I got into hair and I was trying to make that a, a dream and a success of mine. And then I realized the, the really the benefits and the glory that Edson has. There's not a lot of places where you can go and not only have a small business, but have a thriving small business over decades. It's uh, scary a lot of the time, but it's so rewarding most of the time. I just never felt like I fed, fit in. I felt like I uh, was different. And so being in an, this kind of industry, in this kind of environment, really just worked for me. And there was so much, like I said, great to it. I just tried to make the, really the most of it. I was almost bred to believe that I could do anything and that this was, business was possible. I feel in my own world, really. Uh, when I was reached out to even do this project, I was in a little shock because I feel like I live in my own little weird bubble. I don't have the traditional norms. I'm not where a lot of people my age are. I'm in a completely different area, but it doesn't make it wrong. It just makes it different. Work is not everything. For some of us it is, but not everybody. If you have hard work, determination, and drive, you can learn every, anything. That's really what this, these industries around here require, is hard work, dedication, determination, and drive. And I was consistent with that, and now I'm starting to reap the benefits of that now. I'm gaining that respect. I didn't just walk into the room and ask for it, I've earned it. And, and I earned my seat at the table.